Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIABS Home School. I am Ashish Bishash, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Ideal English Version School Morning Shift. Today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 5. Our today's topic is chapter 9. My dear students, from chapter 9 we shall solve a CBQ, which is CBQ number 4 and it is your CW and SW also. My dear student, today is the, our lecture number 28 of annual term and today's SW number will be 27. So let us start our class. At first we read the question. Here notice chapter 9. Question number 4. Shamal Chakma borrowed 4500 taka from a bank and an annual interest of 8 percent were always charged on the principal. My dear student from the stem you notice. Shamul Chakma borrowed 4,500 taka. That means this amount of taka is the principal. That means 4,500 taka is the principal here. And annual interest rate is 8 percent. My dear student notice here annual interest. But as percentage is here, so it must be annual interest rate. That means interest rate is 8 percent. So from the stem we get two information. One is principal and another is 8 percent. My dear student, now we read the question. Question number A, what is principal? That means we need to the definition of principal. And we have already know the definition in our previous classes, from our previous classes. And what is principal? Principal, the money that is borrowed, a money that is borrowed or invested is called principal. So question number B, how much taka would he pay back in 10 hours? Notice principal. 4500 taka interest rate 8 percent and time 10 years notice how much taka would he pay back in 10 years that means he borrowed 4500 taka so he must pay back this 4500 taka but not this 4500 taka only because it has interest also simple interest also so at first we find out the simple interest by using the information after that we add that simple interest with the principal and we get the simple inter, uh, principal interest and that amount of taka he would pay back in 10 hours 10 hour, uh, years so question number 7 S several year later the annual interest summed up to 2520 that means simple interest is 2520 taka and how ma many years did he borrow so from the stem we get principal and interest rate and from question number c we find a simple interest uh, 2520 taka by using this three information we find the uh, year okay now we shall solve our uh, problem question number a principal what is principal the money that is borrowed or invested the money that is borrowed or invested is called principal so from this stem we notice that Shamul Chakma borrowed 4,500 taka from a bank. He borrowed 4,500 taka from a bank. So, this amount of taka is the principal and it is the suitable example for this principal. Okay. So, question number B. How much taka would he pay back in 10 years? How much taka? He must pay back the principal and also with the simple interest. But simple interest is not given here. For these reasons, we find simple interest first. After that, we add that simple interest with the principal and that amount of taka will he uh, would pay back in after 10 years. Okay. So now write at first you given that, given that, what informations are given? Principal, what? Principal is? 4500 taka okay then interest rate interest rate is 8 percent and time time equal to 10 year 
we need the value of simple interest and we know the formula of simple interest what is it now simple interest equal to simple interest equal to principal multiply time multiply interest rate okay divided by 100 notice principal time and interest rate are given now we put the value of principal time and interest rate here principal is 4500 taka time is 10 years right 10 then interest rate is 8 8 percent but we don't write percent why because for this percent we give here 100 now 100 now you notice we cut this 4500 by this 100 how can we divide this 100 by 100 and we get 1 and we divide this 4500 by 100 and we get 45 okay now notice 45 multiply 10 multiply 8 so notice here 45 multiply 8 tens are how much 80 8 tens are 80 and 45 is here now we multiply this two number at first we multiply this 45 by 8 8 5 jar 40 carrying 4 8 4 jar 32 and 4 36 0 so 3600 taka is the simple interest i hope you have understood now my dear student this is the simple interest and uh, the principal is 4500 taka so so he would pay back after 10 years four thousand five hundred plus three thousand six hundred taka now we add zero 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 six plus five it will be eleven carrying on 347 plus on 8, 8,100 8, taka and answer is 8,100 taka. I hope you have understood. My dear student, this is question number B. Okay, this is question number B. So, I repeat at first we find simple interest, then we get that simple interest with the principal, which is the required answer of question number B. Next, we shall solve question number C. Okay, and for solving question number C, I erase question number A and B. So, notice here. Several years later, the annual interest summed up to 2,520 taka. That means this is the simple interest. And how many years did he borrow? That means here time is not given. We need to find out that time. Okay. Here simple interest is 2,520 taka. And interest rate 8 percent. And principal 4,500 taka. So, first of all, we write given that. Given that principal 4500 taka and interest rate equal to 8 percent and simple interest interest is what simple interest is 2520 taka now my dear student we find out the time we know that what is the formula of time 
the formula of time is time equal to simple interest multiply by 100 divided by principal multiply by interest rate so now we put the value of simple interest principal and interest rate simple interest is 2520 taka 100 principal is 4500 taka and interest rate is 8 percent we don't write percent because 4 percent we give here 100 okay and now we cut we cut this 4500 by 100 if we divide 100 by 100 then we get 1 if we divide 4500 by 100 we get 45 now we notice we cut this number by this number okay so notice we cut this number by 8 in 25 8 goes in how many times it goes in 3 times that means 3 8 are 24 and if we subtract then you get 1 and this two, uh, 2 is placed here for this reason it is bec become 12 so in 12 8 goes in how many times 1 times that means if we subtract 8 from 12 we get 4 that means 0 40 in 40 8 goes in how many times 5 times okay so 315 if we cut 2520 by 8 and if we cut 8 by 8 then we get 1 okay now notice we cut 315 by 45 notice we if we cut this number by this number then we get 45 on the 45 and if we multiply 7 with 45 then we get 315 notice 7 5 jar 35 carrying 3 7 4 jar 28 and 3 31 so 7 notice here 7 and one left here one and one left if we multiply one with one then we get one which is negligible and seven with one that means seven on the seven so seven here so my dear student and this is the answer seven here if you don't understand this cutting so first of all you cut this by this then we divide uh, in rough section 2520 by 8 after that you get 315 okay then we divide 315 by 45 and you get 7 if you don't uh, uh, cut it directly then you go to rough section and do it i hope you have understood and this is our today's lecture my dear student question number 4 is your cw and it is your sw also you must do your si in sw in your sw copy and submit it regularly by your guardians your guardians or any other person can submit your sw in our school library in 8 am to 4 pm so my dear students keep practicing at home abide by your parents see you soon till then assalamu alaikum